Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video on the Racing Joker channel. We're doing another vlog! We're doing more vlogs! I have like a cut on the tip of my tongue and it makes talking very awkward so I'm sorry if I sound weird. But let me show you the weather. So it's going to get up into the 70s today and yet the skies look like that. Very cloudy, very overcast. Kind of my ideal weather but it will be in the 70s today. Why can I never close this? It's really hard to do one-handed. So today we're doing a, a, a simple vlog. A simple vlog, yeah, a simple vlog. I'm gonna take the car out for a drive and uh, then we're gonna talk about M3 GTR mods. As you guys know, we've got the uh, the uh, GT2 airbox and intake and all that uh, on its way. That'll be here by the end of April and then we can get it installed as soon as possible. But in the meantime, we're gonna be talking about other mods we're gonna be doing after that. But first, I need a shower and then we'll take the car for a drive. La -da -dee, la -da -dee, la -da -da. All right, we are good to go. Let's head downstairs. So we've got not a lot of stuff to do, but this should be a fun vlog. Scan the receipt I got for the charging wire. Should still be in there, okay, that's good. Might need to get a new SD card case. The micro SD is fine, but the case for the one that I'm using right now is falling apart, but somehow it's still working. Here we go. Focus, you silly camera. For the first order of business, we're gonna go for a little bit of a joy ride in the M3 and have a little bit of fun since it's my day off. Normally, you know, on a normal day off where Ellie isn't at daycare, I wouldn't have time to do this, but since she is at daycare, I've got time. I've got nothing but time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get to the road just before the awesome road that we're going to at an undisclosed location. I will not tell you where we are, but it is a road I've driven on before in the Subaru, and the BMW has not been there yet because the weather has not always permitted us to go on that road and not be terrified. So we're gonna be doing that today. Okay, here we go. fun. Okay, let's uh, back the car in and let's, I think I'll do some editing and then we'll talk about M3 GTR parts.
Time jump! Hey, so I just finished editing uh, the vlog about me getting 2 million views on one video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, the main thing that took some time was the edit near the end using uh, DDE's <laughs> intro theme song. But anyways, I was thinking, because um, I think I intended to talk about this in the last vlog, but I didn't. Uh, do you guys remember those uh, charming commenters that didn't like my plans for the R34 GTT? Well, I have an idea that could potentially trigger, I hate that word, but trigger everyone. If you guys still want me to do the Z-Tune Silver build, we should get a whole bunch of genuine Z-Tune and S-Tune parts, S-Tune hood, Z-Tune fenders, uh, Z-Tune front bumper, uh, V-Spec two side skirts, uh, Nismo rear spats, and all that good stuff, and paint it the KY0 Z-Tune Silver and find a way to make Z-Tune badges and just make a Z-Tune replica on a budget. That could be really cool. Like, cause uh, maybe that's gonna be the theme for this channel is building cars that aren't quite as valuable to look authentically like their superior brothers and sisters. Like, so we're making an M3 GTR downstairs. We could get an ER34 and make that look like a Z-Tune. We would still sell it and get an actual GTR later on, but you know what I mean. I've talked about the Aventador being turned into an SV, you know. Maybe that's just something we could do on this channel, is build cool replicas of cars. Because I don't like replicating movie cars and video game cars per se, but you know, converting a car to be like its superior uh, siblings could be really cool. All right, so as promised, let, let's do this. Let's go and get in the car. We went for a drive, I did some editing. Now let's go back downstairs and we'll talk about the next parts we're gonna be getting. It's a little windy out. They said it might rain today, so we'll uh, we'll see. Anyways, so the, oh my God, that's freaking disgusting. Let's open up the car. Ha ha. So let's quickly go over what we've ordered so far in terms of doing a GTR build. Here's the S54, B32, such and such 330 horsepower. I'd say this every time. We are replacing this intake here and all this sort of stuff with the GT2 airbox, C cell intake, carbon fiber velocity stacks, and we're moving the uh, oil guide tube and dipstick uh, out a little bit to accommodate uh, basically the CSL configuration, even though it is a GT2 airbox. That is what we have ordered so far. We have engine mods on the way. It doesn't change the horsepower much. The only thing that actually does give, give it extra horsepower uh, are the velocity stacks, believe it or not. A lot of money for just a few extra horsepower. It's like, it's like, it's basically six extra horsepower approximately. It's, it's approximately an extra hor one horsepower per cylinder. <laughs> so let's move on to the most important or most interesting upcoming mod that we have with the car, which is the exhaust system. Now, as you guys know, we're gonna order CSL headers and we are going to order the Rogue Engineering rasp pipe. The rasp pipe will be the first one we actually put on. Headers will come later. Um, and we might even do the side exhaust before we do the headers. The side exhaust will come out at about, if the camera will focus, the side exhaust will come out here, basically. And we'll have the heat plate and all that. And it's basically going to replace the section two. So we won't even have the mufflers anymore once we've got the side exhaust here. And we will be working with 2M Auto Works to do the side exhaust. And if you guys are curious, the cost of the Section 2 side exit exhaust in parts is $4,500. That doesn't involve the cost of the cutting and the labor of installation and all that. But at least, you know, once we get the headers and the rasp pipe, we can order the side exit to be made. And then when we're able to bring the car down there, we can just have them install it right away. And hopefully that will be efficient enough it's windy. And then the exhaust system will be complete. Other stuff that we're gonna be working on is the body kit. Now the body kit will be the 2M Auto Works M3 GTR body kit with the more aerodynamic front bumper. And I think what we'll do is we'll order the kit in stages because some of the exterior parts will be from 2M Auto Works and some of the parts will be from BMW Motorsport themselves. Like for instance, the hood, we are going to get a real BMW M3 GTR hood. Not a replica, nothing like that. It will be a real M3 GTR hood 
with the vents in the correct locations. The vents will be made of carbon fiber. The hood will be carbon fiber. It will be glorious. But anyways, uh, we're not doing that right away because that's gonna be expensive. We're, what, what we're gonna do first is uh, the front bumper, the front fenders, the side skirt doesn't need to change, rear fenders and rear bumper because the, the M3 GTR rear bumper is a little bit different and it doesn't have these openings for the exhaust tips. And so we'll get all that. We'll probably have to do some suspension mods and what we'll also do is paint match the stuff to match the rest of the car. And in case you were wondering, I need to open up the car again. Ah, I checked what the uh, paint code is for this car uh, yesterday. And I did that by lifting the hood, going to right here. And you see that? 668 slash nine is the code that you use to identify your car as a car that has been painted in jet black. So when we order the bumpers and fenders and stuff from 2M Auto Works, we can ask them to paint match them to jet black so that when we install them on the car, it looks good and it doesn't look weird and we don't have to wrap it right away because I kind of want the wrap to be the last thing we do. That's cool. And you know, we'll still even leave it unwrapped even once we get the wing. We might, we might be able to get a genuine GTR wing. Fingers crossed. No idea how expensive that's gonna be. And we will try to get the genuine GTR hood so that we can have the vents in the right location in case we ever wanna go with that cool GT2 uh, radiator setup. Another thing, um, we might do this after the side exhaust, after the exhaust system is complete, I think we'll get the wheels even before we do the body kit stuff. I really want to get the Rogue Engineering GTR wheels and we're going to get them in the uh, the black option. I don't want them to be silver, I want them to be black because once this car is purple with the livery, the black wheels will look fantastic. And uh, yeah, that's um, that's kind of where we're at right now with this car. Number one priority is once the airbox arrives, we install that. Uh, and then we work on the exhaust and then we'll do the wheels. Then we'll get to the first stages of the exterior and the suspension. We're on our way, you guys, to building an M3 GTR. But anyways, today, hopefully, I always say this, hopefully this wasn't a super long vlog and this was simple, right to the point, kind of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I am Tom, the Racing Joker, signing out. If you like what you've seen so far and you're not subscribed yet, fix that. If you like what you've seen so far, You'll love what I've got planned. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Become a member because you won't regret it and it's cheap. Two dollars, two dollars! I spent more than two dollars on this car, believe me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everyone. Don't get blown away by the wind, but you can be blown away by these videos. That's fine. Bye!